So how do they truly feel about you right now? We have the Four of Cups. The Ten of Swords. The Ace of Cups. And death. It's very interesting because we have a grave here in the Ten of Swords as well. And it's about endings and uh, new beginnings though. New beginning in love. This person, they're missing you so much, okay? They're longing for you. They feel unfulfilled without you in their life. There's a lot of darkness, a lot of sadness and shadow that they're feeling right now. But you are the light in amongst all of this, okay? You are what makes them feel happy and joyous and excited. There's definitely some sort of huge transition that your person's going through. I feel like they're releasing a lot of wounds to do with betrayal, heartbreak, emotional trauma. They're saying goodbye to this, which is a good thing, but I feel like a lot of triggers are coming up in the process so that they can observe these wounds to be able to release them. The universe is creating some major change here. And they just really long to be with you, okay? I feel like they're having a lot of sexual fantasies as well, because this looks quite phallic here to me. Um... But yeah, they just, they long to be with you, okay? <clears throat> yeah, look, they're waiting for you. They're looking out for you. Looking out into the distance, looking out this window, waiting for you. They're waiting for some transformation, some new beginning to come in there's a letter here you could speak to this person maybe you've written to this person they're holding these roses you know they it's like they're waiting for the right timing or divine timing for them to be able to give you their heart express their heart embrace you fully because they're missing you so much Four of Pentacles. They feel all of this abundance with you. All of this treasures and coins here is like the abundance of love that they feel with you. But they, it looks like some sort of secretism here in terms of maybe for some it could be a third party. Like they have all of these feelings for you but they have to keep it a secret. Or it can be any kind of situation where that is the case. To me, this talks about them moving away from something. Because this is like, to me, the image looks like they're escaping with all of this abundance. So escaping something, releasing something that is challenging for them to release. But they're holding on to this abundance. They're waiting for you, longing for you. Looking out for you. Yeah, because all they can think about and what they're traveling towards is this divine union. This is the abundance they feel, the abundance of love. They feel like you are the one for them. And they just, they're constantly thinking about this union. They could have a fear of loss or the ending in this connection for some of you if it resonates they don't want that they're holding on they want you to be closer they want to express their heart give you their heart you make them feel joyous this person wants to be a good provider for you we've had three four cards fours is about stability they want to build something for you to make you happy they want to help to heal you and your childhood wounds is what i'm feeling with this card as well four of wands this is that divine marriage they they're seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities you could be seeing 11 11 as well 
Um, but the divine marriage, again, the yin and the yang, they know that you are counterparts and they want to provide, they want to build for you anything that makes you happy, anything that makes you feel joyous. There's this powerful energy of just joy and feeling so uplifted with you. It could be a stark contrast to how they're feeling about some other situation in their life or their past. How do they truly feel? <clears throat> yeah, look, they receive all of this abundance from you. And they want to give this back equally. They want to he help heal your inner child. But they just feel like there's so much prosperity in this connection. Like everything's positive. There's so much growth. They feel this deeper meaning. They feel a lot of passion. They feel like you just really click really well together. And um, this comes after the five of pentacles where they felt very lonely. So they felt kind of lonely and isolated in their life. And then you've come in and they are eagerly like receiving all of this love which they feel like they have to keep a secret from certain people around them that's you know why they felt so lonely and isolated they they feel like they cannot be their true self with a lot of people but with you they can and this is what they are providing for you are wanting to provide for you this abundance this love six is the number of love We have the Seven of Wands. Um, let's clarify. Yeah, it's like they've gone through life. Life having to have defences up. Walls and barriers. Because there's been some sort of conflict in their life. This is what all of their wounds are. It, They had to create walls around their heart wear masks anything to make them feel safe and protected but this has also massively contributed to them feeling um isolated and alone they may have developed some sort of relationships of any kind based on having these thick walls up and masks on without even realizing it i feel but they've just ended up feeling very lonely and like they can't be their true self and so they've been praying to the divine and now they are praying to the divine that they can overcome these blocks, these walls and masks and self-protection mechanisms because they want to be free to express their love, open their heart to you, have this new beginning in love with you. How do they feel? Yeah, look, Knight of Pentacles, they are investing, okay? This is them planting all of that, those positive seeds, that love. They want to give you something. Look, she's pregnant here. I'm seeing this symbolically as they want to provide you something so that you are growing, you are thriving um, and abundant. This is them wanting to work together as a team. But look at all of this abundance surrounding they feel deeply connected with these colours, being the same here as well. Deeply, deeply connected to you. They feel stability with you. They feel safe to be able to prosper in their true authentic self. So the sun. This person is sending you a lot of love and light. This person's going inwards, finding their self-esteem. You help them find the self-esteem. This is the abundance they receive from you and this is someone that is powerfully trying to show you demonstrate to you their strong feelings could be through powerful eye contact could be through their body language could be through spoken word and acts of kindness it will be different for different people but they are beaming out this sun towards you trying to fill you with this light they're creating the right conditions for you to grow and thrive their biggest wish is to have it all with you um, have this amazing connection 
they want this um, powerful union here and joy. This is the fulfillment, the heaven on earth that they feel with you. But it's like with the death card here, there needs to be a release of the old, whatever that represents. We have the Queen of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the Two of Swords. So there's some sort of conflict here, I'm feeling. Someone who's more of a dominating person in their life. Um, something they were once afraid to face up to, or they had to have thick walls to protect themselves. This could be someone that's very opinionated. Um, but look, this is them moving away from this this is all about moving away from adversity to a brighter future to that which serves this person more but they know that they have to confront whatever this is so i'm going to continue this reading on in an extended reading we're going to start off by looking at lots of messages cards what does your person really need you to know right now about their true feelings. I feel them moving towards you. So what are they coming forwards to say? Also, what is um, really going on here? What is going to happen next? And lots of very detailed messages from Spirit are going to come through that you need to hear. So the details for the extended reading are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. So I really hope to see you over there. If this reading has resonated with you, please let me know in the comments. Give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe. That all really helps me out with the algorithm. Thank you so much for joining me here and I hope to see you over on the extended.